Can the CIA help us to succeed in getting a CISSP? And the answer is absolutely yes. Let me walk you through exactly why. I'd like you to imagine that you and I have started a brand new company and we have some assets in our company. We have some physical facilities, a building, we have some computer equipment, and we also have some data and personnel. Probably one of our biggest assets is our people. And secondly, probably one of the biggest assets that we have is our secrets and our data and our information that we contain. So let's say that right here, this represents our data and we absolutely want to make sure that it's secure. So what are some of the things that we'd want to do regarding that data? Well, first of all, we'd probably want to make sure that we had confidentiality. And confidentiality simply means that the authorized people who need to see that data can see it and work with it, and then those who are not authorized to see or touch or be aware of that data can't. So we can implement confidentiality on this data by doing things like encryption. We can encrypt data on a disk, and that way if the disk is stolen or lost, the unauthorized individual won't be able to see that data. Or if we're sending data across the network, we could encrypt that data, which would provide the confidentiality. Because someone who doesn't have the correct keys to decrypt that data and see it, they wouldn't be able to make sense of that data. Another thing that we'd want to ensure about this data that we're protecting is integrity. For example, if this data says 1001, we wouldn't want that data to be manipulated by an unauthorized party. For example, if an attacker or unauthorized person was able to access that data and they changed it to 2002, does that make a difference? <laughs> the answer is yes. So we want to make sure we have integrity. And that includes when we send data over a network. We want to make sure that when we send the data, it doesn't get manipulated or changed in transit. So whether that data is at rest on a disk or file system or on the network, moving, we want confidentiality and integrity. The other thing we want to do, and we'll fix this number here, let's say that data is 1001. The other thing we want to do with this data is make sure that the people who need to see it, the authorized individuals, can get to that data. And that's all about availability. Because even if we have confidentiality and integrity, if we have a denial of service attack or the authorized user isn't able to get to the data when they need it, that's a problem as far as the business is concerned. So CIA, in some parts of the world, that re might represent a security organization. However, in the context of CISSP, our security objectives are surrounding these three. And CIA is a great way to remember those three terms. Another reason it's really important to be aware of these three terms is that we may have a certification exam environment question that says something like, which should you implement? IPsec? Hashing, multi-factor, authentication, a fault-tolerant disk subsystem. And we might be asked, which one of these should we implement? And we're thinking, well, they all look like great ideas. IPsec gives us confidentiality. Hashing, which could be used as part of IPsec, would give us data integrity. Multi-factor authentication would be also part of confidentiality. For example, if someone had to authenticate first before they saw the data, that would play into that. A fault-tolerant disk system would be part of availability. See, they're all great. So the determining factor in how we answer that might be in the actual question itself. What's the question focused on? Is it focused on confidentiality-related items, data integrity-related items, or availability? And then based on the question, we could then select the correct answer based on what they're looking for. So my impression of this certification exam is that a lot of the answers have really good choices. In fact, multiple good choices. And our job is to select the best choice. And most of the time, that's going to be zeroing in on the details of the question and the flavor or the intent of that question. In this nugget, we've taken a look at the concept of CIA to represent confidentiality, data integrity, and availability. And those three elements will be key for us in identifying the correct answers as we prepare to succeed in the CISSP certification exam. Hey, thanks for joining me. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.